nobles gets you, Bringus. Please, you must help. I think my cousin Brengus has been captured by werewolves. Bringus got caught up in a love affair, see? Decided to run off with some high elf named Nerelin. I was supposed to meet them in Archon's Grove, help them get off the island. But when I got there, all I saw were werewolves! Yes, I'm sure of it. I couldn't find them anywhere. I did meet a high elf named Estadel. He wouldn't tell me much, but he was definitely searching around the grove. He may know more about the situation than I do. I must say, I've just had the most dreadful day. First my betrothed runs off with some wood elf, and then she manages to get kidnapped by werewolves. At this rate, my reputation may never recover. To think Nirilin would put me in such a position. What do I care about Brengus? Honestly, I'd rather leave the two lovebirds to their fate. But if word got out that I left Nirilin to die, or if she managed to escape and actually marry that wood elf, suffice to say, I can't just leave her. Well, I'm certainly not risking my life. Hmm, you have the look of a ruffian. Want to take on the task? If you collect Nirilin, or at least what's left of her, I'll make sure you're paid handsomely. Oh, and you could save Brengus as well, I suppose. Excellent. Once you've finished, meet me near the Mage's Guild in Shimmerine. Of course, discretion is key here. I want no word getting out about this little incident, not even to common folk. Rumours do tend to spread, after all. Do you know how long this marriage arrangement has been underway? Decades. Decades worth of work. All gone if Nirilin smears her name through wood elf muck. Why, I'd rather suffer a thousand cuts than such a wound to my reputation. You really don't know? Oh. You must be a newcomer. Every High Elf marriage in Somerset is meticulously planned. A matchmaker must be contacted to research the couple's star charts, pedigree documents, that sort of thing. It's a lengthy process. It's necessary. After all, we High Elves strive for excellence. Marriage is no different. You might want to look into a matchmaker yourself. Of course, it wouldn't take nearly as long as someone of my standing, and you'd be thankful in the end. You know how it is. The pressure of high expectations does not make diamonds of us all. Sometimes someone cracks. Nirilin just cracked harder than most, ran away from home and straight into a wood elf's arms. Can you even imagine? 
break off our engagement? At this point? Preposterous. After all, the invitations have already been sent. Pending death, there's no honorable way to cancel now. Discreetly putting this incident behind us is what's best for both parties.
didn't you all hear me? Wait. You're not one of the pack. Why, well, you're not even a werewolf. You need to leave now. It's far too dangerous here. They've already killed Brengus, and it's too late for me. Estadel. I thought I heard him whimpering earlier. I told you, it's already too late. I've been turned. There's no place in Somerset society for a werewolf. I'm doomed to live out the rest of my cursed existence as an outcast. What other choice do I have? I was miserable with Estadel, and I thought Brengus was my one chance to escape, to leave that life behind. He was going to protect me, and in the end, he couldn't even protect himself. No. No, I can't live like this, serving the very beasts who took everything away from me. Just end it. Please, I'd rather die than be miserable. You can take my signet ring. That will prove to Estadel that you found my corpse. Fine. Take it and go. I... I don't know what to do now. But at least I'm free to make that choice. Perhaps I'll find something to truly care about, even as a werewolf.
There you are. Quickly, over here. Well, were you able to find Nirilin? Or at least, whatever those werewolves left of her? Well, that is troublesome. Still, I expect Nirilin knows well enough to keep away, and no one else need know of her change. Here's your payment, and of course, discretion is key here. As far as you and I are concerned, Nirilin died in that grove. 